Jamaica's modern day hymnist and psalmist, Jermaine Garden. Whatever they do, music, sport, they dig it out of their heart. Live life with a dash of panache at the Reggae Splash Boozy Brunch at Panache Eurosoul Restaurant and Lounge. It's a fusion of Mediterranean, Caribbean, and soul food. Pocket Money's release party with Ding Dong, Kim Pamel, and Petra. New York strip steak gonna put my steak with a port wine mushroom sauce, baby potatoes, and roasted tomatoes with celebrity chef steak. Patrick Simpson and I did a nice on this week's Inna the Kitchen. Mushroom sauce right on the top, served with a baby potato and roasted tomato. You're watching Come Chat With Me, a Caribbean lifestyle magazine. And I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. With everything within me, I declare Innovator, inspirational author, worship leader, gospel artist, composer, musician, and motivational speaker, Mr. Minister Jermaine Gordon. Jermaine, thank you very much for coming to chat with me, man. Yes, How are you doing, man. sir? Respect, man. Respect, yeah, man. Respect, 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 man. Respect, man. How is everything, I must ask, you know? How is everything? How is New York? Uh -huh. Beautiful. Beautiful. You know, usually when people ask me, How are you? I say yeah. something like, I am divinely inspired. Yes. Or I'm magnanimous. Yeah. For real, For real. I don't like to say I'm fine. Yeah. You, know, you don't like that word. Really. Or I'm good or I'm not bad. Cool. When and how did it all begin, you know, for you as a, as a gospel artist slash minister? Well, actually, I started in 2011, yes. recorded some music. That was my first album. The debut album was released in 2011, December 2011. Oh, nice. But I wasn't on the stage. The music was always out there. Okay. The music has won awards, but I was just not on the stage. You were in free to touch the stage? You were scared of the stage? I had some issues okay. battling with that I wanted to um, clear. Cool. I didn't quite, I wasn't comfortable with some of what was being composed and arranged okay. as music then. In fact, in Jamaica at the time, we lost two generations of creative um, writers. Because okay. all we were doing was just listening for what was coming from elsewhere, yeah. put a reggae beat to it, and then call it Jamaican. Okay. But we, we, are, we are really a long way away from that now. You know, so okay. I think I'm ready for, for it full blown. Debit album, Lord I Surrender, that's the name of it, right? Yes. yes. Okay, talk a little bit about that, you know, get into it some more, man, and about the album and thing, you know, produce it and all that good stuff. It was actually my first attempt at yeah. professional recording. having. Mm -hmm been writing for years. Yeah. I've written over 800 songs. What? Yeah. And when I did Lord I Surrender, the songs just came. Yeah. And um, I don't have the problem that most artists have, which is they want to record and they don't have enough songs. Okay. I was okay. Yeah. And so I chose 13 tracks okay. and made it the first album. The, t the title track, Lord I Surrender. Right. Today, people have some of the hit songs as You Are God. Yeah. Today, I'm telling you now, Ziggy, that most of Jamaica don't know the mind and the person behind you are God, holy and righteous. They hear it in the streets, they hear yeah. it in the dance, they hear it in the bar, they hear it in the churches, but yeah. they have not yet connected the song with the singer. And that's all because you were, you were behind the scene, you were not right. stepping out. That's, that's it, it, that's it, that's it. Okay. So now we, we're going to make some, some strides forward. Move out there, let them see the face with me and the songs that they've been, they've been listening that's to for it. years. That's it, that's it. The track is are broken, it's also another hit song on the same album. Shackles are broken. Yes. In fact, one of our secular artists said to me, Jeremy, then why you, why you put so many of your hit songs on one album? Yeah. <laughs> I had to say to him, well, as a, as a Christian, as a believer of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. if I stay connected, as long as I stay connected to the source, I'll get more hit songs. Of course. Variety, somebody says, is a spice of life. Yeah. And so if, if I can't watch the man who is doing the dance hall or the reggae, I have to find out what is my sound. Yes. What is my sound? What, that, what do I love? And Great. if you really check it out, those who have really been successful in life, in whatever they do, music, sport, they did it out of their heart. They didn't watch what was happening in the world. It was their passion. They, they pursued what, what their passion was. Yeah. And so I would encourage young artists, find yourself. Know who you are. What do you love? And go after that. What's next? Well, I am about healing. Mm -hmm. And... Um, there's music out there, Ziggy, that is harming the people. It's hurting them. And, and they don't I, even I realize. Agree. I agree. When you're in trouble, you want one of two things. You either want hope yeah. or escape or both. 
Yeah. And so I try to make sure that when I sit down to write a song, or even by the keyboard and the piano I'm sitting down, yeah. that song is either going to bring you hope when you hear it, or it's going to motivate you, inspire you in some way, yeah. and, and bring you some way of escape, or a combination of both. And so for me, next, um, I'm looking at hitting the road with my music. As, as a young believer, what I never hear much from our leaders was um, how do you oh. live a successful Christian life? How yeah. do you live a victorious Christian life? You know, you come out, of coming from out the world, how yeah. do you maintain a certain prior life? How do you handle certain kind of struggles and things that happen, pressures that come on you? True. And so I, I, I believe that my ministry is to help people to heal, to bring them hope, to, to help them with the how and to bring them inspiration. At the end of the day, draw them closer to God. Panache, Eurosoul restaurant and lounge out here in Rosedale, Queens. Yes, and of course, you know, it's the reggae splash. Who's the brunch? Say, you hear me? Go go chat to some people and find out how I go on, man. Come chat to me over there. Follow me. Jerk salmon grevlocks. Now this is a very unique dish. It's Euro Soul. It's it's a European style dish because the uh, salmon is cured. Wow. It's cured for two days yeah. in tequila, orange juice, and spices and jerk sauce. Our it's a tequila. Stuff. Yes, sir. <laughs> so if you eat a lot of it, you get a It's possible. Yeah. It's boozy brunch, brother. Boozy brunch. Really, really and good. and so we cure it for three days, and then as you can see, we thin slice it. Listen, man. Everybody love this too. Yeah. It's, uh, it's one of our secret dishes because people yeah. come and when they see it, not everybody knows about it, but when they see it, oh, I want one of those. Yeah. I want one of those. And they yeah. always order one. It's very good, very good. Yeah. This is our chicken and rum raisin waffles. You got that? Rum raisin waffles. Rum raisin. Rum raisin. The raisins right. are. Okay, that is boozy. Don't remember that it's boozy, you know, because I said rum. Oh, yeah. All right, but it's boozy. Oh, yeah. So the, the raisins are high, rehydrated in rum. Yeah. And then we make our mix and we make that, that waffle. It's great. And our uh, chicken is topped off with caramelized onions. Nice, nice, man. Trust oh, me. I can't forget our pineapple sauce. That's, that's the one, is, is it spicy? Pineapple. Yeah, man. Mm, it's a spicy pineapple sauce. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You gotta have spicy with boozy, man. Jackie, I understand it's your birthday today. Is that correct? My birthday was Thursday, but we're celebrating today. Okay, nice, nice. And what do you have for your birthday today at the brunch? I had the uh, Aki and salt fish. I chose to go traditional. You know, so Aki is my favorite thing though. Yeah. But why Aki and salt fish on a day like today? Um, because they had bami and the breadfruit and, you know, I don't really have that all the time. Shrimp and grits, right. And I had for my appetizer the fritters, salmon fritters, because I'm a seafood girl. Oh, you're a seafood. All right, and how was it? was well, good. It's my second time here. So I was the one who thought that we would bring Jackie here for her birthday. The food, great. I like the music. Um, they're playing old reggae. So, you know, we're just grooving. Me and my friends. So the ambience is beautiful. The bartender, the waitress, she was amazing. So, yeah, I'll come back definitely. What are you going to have today at brunch? What are you I'm probably going to have the hard dough um, French toast. But I got a little starter grits too. Um, got a couple other people coming. They said they want an Aki and Sawfish. So we're gonna we're gonna fill out today. We're gonna fill up today, man. Aki and Sawfish, which is Jamaican staple with uh, breadfruit and um, bami. Can't leave out the bami. You take it back down a yard, it look like. Right? <laughs> Everywhere I go, you have to have a little bit of Jamaica, right? That's true, man. That's yeah, true. yeah, yeah. So this is your first time? Ooh, see there. Ah, uh, the first time for the food. But oh, I've yeah. been here for, for dinner before. Okay. Yeah. Really nice spot. It's yeah. different. Yeah. You know, you can get a little bit of Jamaica, but you can get Eurosoul. I actually created the name Panache 
because I wanted something to, that represents style and class. Today is a celebration of our brunch because we yeah. really just launched our boozy brunch. Boozy brunch. Boozy brunch. Yeah. Um, and we wanted to do this reggae because my husband and I are, are both from Jamaica. Oh, cool. So we wanted to bring in our culture and the Euro soul cuisine is all about mixing of cultures. Nice. And so we wanted to bring that reggae splash, you yes. know, that reggae vibe in it, that yes. culture in it, in the boozy brunch. My vision is yeah. to bring your soul to the world. Only okay. here we have this very unique cuisine, uh, which everybody is interested in. Right. And it's a fusion of Mediterranean, okay. with Caribbean, and soul food. Wow. So it mixes that Mediterranean, and it was Morocco, which was, was my inspiration. The most diverse food comes from Morocco. Oh. So that's one of the little, little tidbit facts. Yes. One of the most diverse food comes from Morocco. So when people usually think about Mediterranean, they mm -hmm. actually think about Greece or, you know, Europe, yeah. you know. Um, but actually, the Med Morocco is the influence for all Mediterranean cuisine. There's no possibility for panache to ever be in, like, in the city or, <laughs> or you know what I mean, in the Bronx. Not for right, no. I'm making sure my people are pleased because as you know, right, yeah. you have to please. If you can please the Jamaicans and the Caribbeans, yeah, then man. you have it done. No. to go. You're good yeah. to go. <laughs> you know, oh, God, God. We have big standards when yes. it comes to food. But you come on down and Panache is here, as I just said, to service the community right here in Rosedale. You don't have to no longer run to Manhattan to have great upscale dining experience. We have our boozy brunch on Saturdays and Sundays. And of course, we have dining. Great dining experience. Dinner from 5 until 10 during the week and until 12 midnight on the weekend. So we want you guys to come on down and have a great experience, great ambiance, great food. Our USO cuisine is off the chain. As they will, the young people say, it's lit. Lit. All yeah. right. <laughs> A CD and video media release party for the hot new single, Pocket Money, featuring Ding Dong, King Pamel, and Petra, was held at the Outdoor Venue Yard in Brooklyn on Church Avenue with special guest Ed Robinson. Listen, I heard him say, Mama, take this batch off for me. It's getting dark, way too dark, you see. And yes, so right now, I feel I'm knocking on it. Yeah, they're gonna know it. Come on, come on. Knock, knock, knocking on Yeah, man, I hear Robinson. You know, say, we're half a come to come, come celebrate the pocket money release. You know what I mean? You don't know it, go. So, a Brooklyn will say, every time for life. Everybody big up on yourself, right? Please say you know. Don't feel it this way. Then say good. Pay to pay to spin it. But my friend better than a million dollar, billion dollar, billion dollar. Don't know it's the one and only Welding out there, Ding Dong Ravers, and we're here representing Pocket Money. The song release, the video release, it's crazy. Petra, Kim, featuring Ding Dong Ravers, Johnny Bravo, crazy. We're representing real friends, true friends, realest of the realest. Be a people there, be a star there, Safari, you hear me? Ricky Blaze, you hear me? Rum Blood from War 21, Blaze, you hear me? DJ Spin City, bag of people there. 
crazy. The vibes, man. Artists up on stage. Kim, show me a talk. You can't talk too long. I hear one of the biggest artists them right now. Flair is in the air. Ding dong, they are so wet. You must know say one big thing I go on, right? So tonight we are bringing more pocket money. It's all about pocket money tonight, right? So. It's about a song to tell a friend to tell a friend and if you have a real friend you're gonna find out about this song because this song is a friend song we're not talking about a fake friend we're talking about if you have a real friend you're gonna find out what pocket money is and it's all about pocket money tonight Hi, my name is Jazen. I'm 17 years old and I'm from Kingston, Jamaica. I'm a singer, dancer, and actress. And I'm here to support my Auntie Kim for the release of the Pocket Money. And I'm really enjoying the vibe here tonight. Well, one, everybody, this is your favorite singer, Siobhan, representing right here in Brooklyn. You know the thing, with your pocket money release. Nice, 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 nice tune. You know the thing, yeah, you don't know what it's all about. The Labor Day vibes. And it's pocket money, the biggest thing out right now. Big up Petra, big up Kim, big up Ding Dong in the place. Yo. To the world. To you. Next episode of In the Kitchen. And you don't know, the number one chef in New York, man. Oh. Yeah, chef, celebrity chef. Patrick Simpson, when you don't get the twisties, that's what I'm going to say. Well, go on, brother. Right, right, right. Yeah, yo, yeah. listen, man. It's, 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 it's been a wonderful journey, man. Everywhere. You know what I realize now? Every time I go up on the road, all I can hear people talk about a way I'm going to make next week. Really in the kitchen, turn up. Really Ziggy, come chat with me. In the kitchen, it is crazy. It's the hottest thing right now on Caribbean TV. Really this you want to check every week. So what I go on today? Yo, today, may I change up the gear. May I come with a nice New York steak. I'm here to do a bourbon, port wine, sauce, mushroom. It's going to be crazy. Mm. Keep it locked. You want to see this. You don't want to go nowhere. In the kitchen. In the kitchen. kitchen. All right, guys. So this week, we're making a New York steak, and I'm going to do a mushroom sauce, mushroom port wine sauce over it. And I'm gonna serve it with some baby potato and some roasted tomato. Real nice, and also some beans. So right now we have a nice cut, a clean New York strip steak. I'm gonna go with a little bit of salt over him. Make him real nice. A Little bit of salt, not too much. A Little bit of pepper. On both sides, a little bit of pepper, real good. I'm gonna go with my Cajun season, because you know me already, I like my food with flavor. So it's gonna be a nice Cajun, New York style ribeye. Nice, clean, keep a little bit of the fat because you want the fat. The fat is actually where a lot of the flavor sits right in the fat. So let it sit right there. This steak, you can actually allow it to marinate. Allow it to marinate inside your refrigerator for probably about like 15, 20 minutes and you're good. And just put a um, plastic wrap over it and keep them looking nice. My pot is nice and hot. I'm gonna go down with my steak. Ah, oh, beautiful. And this is actually a blackened steak. This is what I'm shooting for. I'm shooting for a nice, a nice chard. And normally you shake the steak, and the reason why you shake it is because you don't want it to stick. And meanwhile the steak is cooking, I'm gonna start on my sauce. So my sauce is gonna be a little bit of olive oil. And as you know, I like my flavor already, so I'm also gonna go with a little bit of liquid butter. The liquid butter is going to help and enhance the flavor as to what I'm shooting for. Alright, put that bad boy in. Fresh garlic and I'm going to go with some scallion. Oh, look at the nice color. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Put my mushroom in. And you can go with portobello mushroom. You can go with button mushroom. Whatever mushroom that you like. Shiitake mushroom. There's so many different mushrooms that you can go for. You can also add some raisin to it if you want and make it a nice, sweet, 
raisin flavor, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, and then I'm gonna go with a little bit of Obey season. Nice, beautiful. I'm gonna go with a little bit of Gravy Master, just to give me that nice little color that I'm looking for. Beautiful, nice. The wine. Exactly what I want, beautiful. Nice medium. That's what I wanna see. I'm gonna take a little bit of the wine and put it inside. Ah, that's it. Burn my flavor. And then I'm gonna take my sauce and put my sauce right inside. A little bit of water. Yep, beautiful. I'm gonna put my steak on my plate, looking good. Then I'm gonna go for my baby, baby potato. All the time we're eating rice. All the time we're eating rice, so we're changing it up a little bit. We're doing something totally different. We're going for some baby potato. I'm gonna take a little bit of the oil from the potato, and I'm gonna just, just kind of drizzle right over the top. Then I'm gonna go for my roasted tomato and my beans. Now my sauce is gonna go right on top of my steak. You can make a nice little rose or a nice little plant or whatever you want. Okay guys, you see this. This week I'm making something totally different. New York steak and I did a nice port wine mushroom sauce right on the top, served with a baby potato and roasted tomato. This is real easy, real simple. You see the ingredients. I did it right in front of you and you see. So next week, you're gonna be in for a surprise because what I'm gonna do, you're not gonna be ready for this one. So get your pen and paper and keep it locked. Wishpot, in at the kitchen. I'm Gil Bailey and I'm back, inviting you to my first comeback. Gospel Extravaganza, Sunday, October 14, 2018. Live performance by Michael Reed, Van Troy Tuller, LaFleur Durant, Sister Donika McFarger, Sister Dell, Maxine Duncan. Doors open at 4 p.m. Church of God of Prophecy, 194-15 Linden Boulevard, St. Albans, Queens. Stay connected with Come Chat With Me. Like us on Facebook, Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching Come Chat With Me. Tune in each and every Sunday right here on CIN. See you next week. Simply Kells.